What do you know about artificial intelligence? You probably imagine some robot or maybe a giant supercomputer that wants to enslave mankind. In fact, AI is a neural network designed to work similarly to a human brain. AI can process large volumes of information and at the same time learn on its own. This ability opens whole new perspectives. And today, we will tell you about the amazing possibilities of artificial intelligence. Let's go! The term artificial intelligence appeared in 1956. Scientists found out that the brain is a large neural network and decided to copy its design. They wanted computers to be able to think like a human being and imitate its consciousness. But at that time, the first computers lacked processing power and the idea of neural networks was left to better times. And these times have come. With the development of the gaming industry, powerful video cards appeared and they are almost perfect for neural networks. That's why the shares of companies that develop video cards have increased in recent years. And how much do you think? By 30, 50, or 100%? No, they've grown by 300%. We can't even imagine how many zeros that is. Wow. Okay, moving on. AI based on neural networks can do amazing things. It can play 3D video games just by looking at the screen and getting all the information about the actions through a web camera. So if you can't defeat an enemy in Call of Duty, maybe you're playing against an AI. Just think about it. Neural networks are not limited to games though. Their application is much wider. Google is actively working in this field. Almost everyone knows the phrase, okay Google. Yes, Google Voice Assistant is a virtual AI system, which in a few seconds processes terabytes of information and gives you the answers you need with a nice human sounding voice. And if you get bored, you can even have conversations with it. Moving on. Have you ever wanted to read other people's minds? I guess a lot of people would like to have that super ability. But let's be realistic. Humans can't read minds. However, that's within the reach of artificial intelligence. Is that possible? Turns out it is. Japanese scientists have proved it. They conducted an experiment. They connected sensors to the subject's heads and showed them different pictures. Artificial intelligence picked up electromagnetic waves and transmitted them to the screen, producing blurred images similar to those shown to people. This technology is still in development and it will definitely be improved in the future. In a few decades, it will be possible to record in real time not only thoughts, but also dreams. So you won't have to try and remember what you dreamed last night you will be able to connect your smart assistant to your smart TV and see every dream again. If you want, you can even share your dreams with a friend or just delete them. This technology is still under development, while facial recognition is already being used. You probably know that artificial intelligence can be used to recognize different faces. A neural network can scan a person with almost 100% accuracy in one second, even if they are moving. What happens next? The neural network finds similar images on the internet and social networks that fit the description and offers options to choose from. So with the development of artificial intelligence, we can't hide from the big brother's eyes. All the data and photos that you upload to the global network remain there forever, even if you delete them from your account. But you should not be afraid. Only criminals should, because neural networks can be used to identify them. The possibilities of neural networks are limitless. They are also used in medicine to scan the retina and determine the patient's disease. And in about 20 years, AI robots will be able to assist surgeons in the most complex operations. And that's just a small part of what we can expect in the future. Who would have thought that a technology from the 50s would revolutionize the development of artificial intelligence and become a new driving force for progress? Do you think we should fully trust artificial intelligence? Tell us your opinion in the comments. And that's all for today. Have a good day. And we'll be back soon with a new true story.